This video is about some fragrances that are deep, that are darker, that may have some mirth in them, maybe some rum, lots of spices, maybe some incense. If you're into those kind of fragrances, they smell so good. Stay tuned and I'll see you in the dark. Hey everybody, I'm Peter from Centrail. On this channel, we talk about fragrances, designers, niche, perfumers, you name it. Anything to do with fragrances. If you love fragrances or you just want to smell great, consider subscribing. If you do, please hit that bell to get further notifications. And of course, love, like, share all the wonderful things that make this channel grow. I want to thank you in advance. And now let's look at some fragrances that are just a little bit deeper, maybe some incense, spicy, dark rum, or some mirth. When it's cold outside, I like to wear a fragrance that is just a little bit deeper, maybe spicier or smoky or something like that. But I often wear one of these fragrances in the summer for that extra punch. Of course, if you wear a fragrance that is heavier like this in the summer, it still has to be well done, elegant and beautiful in its own way. And you wanna moderate your sprays in the summer if it's a deeper fragrance because it's hot outside. Other than that, I think anyone can wear any fragrance whenever they please. The first one we're going to look at is one from Prada. It is Prada Amber Pour Homme and it is the Intense. Now many of you might remember the original one. It came out a long time ago. It's a really soapy fragrance, really great for the high heat. Of course this one is the Intense so it is a much deeper and it is probably the freshest one out of all the ones that we're going to go through. But I really love the scent profile in this one and it's perfect for this list. I like this one in particular because it has some deeper, darker notes and it has a melancholy quality that I think a deep and dark fragrance should have. But let's give it a spray and see what we get from it. This fragrance was released in 2011, so it's a few years older. It's a bit harder to get nowadays. I keep hearing that it's discontinued, but it will pop up on online sellers every now and then. And if you're into a deeper fragrance that is quite unusual, you might want to check it out. The intense version blends resinous, mirth, patchouli and amber. And the original soapiness is way in the back. It's still kind of there. You can tell they're in the same sort of maybe cousins or family, but the mirth completely overshadows what was once there in 2006. And it quickly, it also has some bergamot at the very top, which dissipates really quickly and it dives into the deeper notes. If I had to give you a visual of what this fragrance smells like, it kind of smells like walking through a medieval town and smelling all the wet beams and the wood barrels and all that sort of stuff. But you're wearing the original fragrance. Combined with the original fragrance and all the smells of a medieval town, that's what you get in Prada Amber Pour Homme, the intense version. It's really a unique scent and I love it. Also, you get about eight hours of longevity with this one. And it's decent projection, it's not too great, but it's a decent projection. At this point, you can buy Prada Pour Homme, the Amber Intense. You can probably get it for $50 to $80 depending on where you look and where you find it. It's a really nice scent that is sort of deep, dark and really unique. The next one that I have is a fragrance from Lalique. It is dark and elegant. It is a fragrance called Hommage à l'Homme and it is the Voyageur. I just recently acquired this one. It took me a while to find it. And I really enjoy this one. As the name says, Voyager, or you know, the person that a person that travels. Uh, the name was used for the Canadians immigrating into Canada years ago. If you ask me, what does it smell like? It smells like you're walking in the French Canadian forest at night. That's what this fragrance smells like to me, with the cardamom, the papyrus, the amber, and the moss in it. It's really an aromatic fragrance on the deeper side, on the mossy side. 
that reminds me of walking in the forest at night, maybe in French Canada. With about eight hours longevity and moderate projection, this one is not going to be a compliment monster. It's a love-hate. Either you love it or you don't like it at all. Uh, my wife, she kind of pulled her nose up at first when she smelled it, and after it settled down a little bit, she liked it better. It is kind of like the other one from Lalique. It's a little bit like the Ancre Noir. Either you love it when you first smell it, or you don't really like it. To me, I love both of these. They're excellent fragrances, they're unique, and I guess maybe because I have so many fragrances, I like it when it's a little bit different than mainstream. And now you're probably going, oh my God, is he just going to have fragrances that no one really likes, or it's too niche or too this or too that? No, the next one's gonna be a people pleaser. Most people that smell this one actually really like this one, and it's a good one. It is Man in Black from Bulgari. Man in Black was created in 2014 by Alberto Morias. We all know that fragrance guy. Let's give it a spray. Nice, strong sprayer. This one has rum, spices, and some tobacco in it. Also, there is leather. Now, lots of people, when you go online and you look, what does it smell like? What do people think and so on? Lots of people compare this one to, a, to the Spice Bomb original. And I think that it's probably a distant cousin. It doesn't smell like it. This one is much more refined. It is much more mature. It's not as sweet as the Spice Bomb. And there may be some hints just because of the spices in it, but it doesn't smell like Spice Bomb, nor do I think it is redundant. Man in Black is a spicy, oriental, boozy fragrance, and it has a touch of sweetness. And it has been out for a few years, since 2014. So you can pick this one up in online retailers for a pretty decent price. I can't remember what I paid for it, but it was under $100. And the next one, we're gonna go a little leathery, deeper, and much more smoky. And it is Varvato's Dark Rebel. And it was launched in 2015. It's a really cool bottle, sort of wrapped. It's not leather, it's plastic, but it looks like a leather wrapping around it. I wish it was real leather, that'd be kind of cool. You know, a nice little seal on top, little crest. This is a rum tobacco with incense. It's a perfect leather jacket fragrance. If you just want to like leather it up, it's perfect. The most unique note in Varvatos is Castorium. Castorium is derived from a beaver and it has a bit of a musky, uh, ambery, uh, animalic smell. It's a musky, animalic, ambery smell. Now don't worry, there were no animals hurt in the production of this thing. Castorium is now nowadays produced synthetically. So no worries, no animals got hurt. The fragrance Dark Rebel is super intense leather, rum, and tobacco. It smells like rock and roll. It's a perfect fragrance for John Varvatos. I don't know if you've ever been in his stores, but the clothes and all that stuff, it's perfect. I think it's, it's their best scent, other than maybe the Oud is really good from Varvatos. But the Dark Rebel one, if you want it a little bit milder, they also make a Dark Rebel Rider. It's just a little bit milder. But for this note, the dark, deep leather incense, this one's perfect. And as a little side note on Varvatos, you can pick this one often up at like a TJ Maxx, Marshalls in the United States. And online, I think you can pick these things, the, pick Varvatos up for like 20 to $30. I think it's really cheap and it's a great value for a really good scent. But let's take it just a little bit more on the elegant and beautiful side. The next one that I have is Noir Argent, Argent which means sil or black silver or not black silver noir. Yeah, black silver from Izumiyake. This one is uh, created in 2018. It's a newer fragrance. And it has a note of mirth in it. Just like the earlier fragrance that we had from Prada with a little bit of a soapy quality in the background from the original, this one has no soapy quality at all. Noir Argent, when you first spray it, has a grapefruit quality on top that kind of fades away rather quickly. It's a little fresh at the beginning, but dives into the deeper notes pretty quickly. 
as it dives into the deeper notes, you have some olibanum, leather, saffron, patchouli, labdanum, and some vetiver. Now the vetiver is not very strong in here. I would not call this a vetiver fragrance. The mirth is always present and it's really a lovely, well-blended fragrance. There are no sharp corners. Not one sticks out or the other one sticks out. It's a really lovely fragrance. Noir Argent has about eight hours of longevity with better than average projection. It's a really wonderful release from Izumiyaki in 2018. It has just the right amount of spice, depth, and darkness. It's a great release from Izumiyaki. The next one we're gonna do is a fragrance that got some traction this year. Now it's been out since about 2015, I believe it was. And it's a Sadigan Voltaire and lots of people did reviews on it and for good reason. I've had this one for a while and I really enjoy it. This is This Is Him by Sadigan Voltaire. This is a, to me, this is an incense masterpiece. It is done so well, it only has a few notes. I think there's like six notes. There's black pepper, incense, vanilla, sandalwood, and grapefruit. But it is so well blended and it is just, once you smell it, you've never smelled anything like it before. It is a great scent and it cuts through the cold. It is full of incense and it has a little bit of mystery to it. I think I have a video that describes this one in greater detail. I'll link it in the top if you're interested in that. This one has unfortunately moderate projection. It doesn't do as well as I would like for it to, but it lasts all day, just a little bit closer in. It's a great fragrance. I see myself wearing this one, walking the European streets when everything is just a little bit snow covered and walking through the parks. I think this would be a nice fragrance to have on your scarf, on your shawl, while you're walking through everything that's covered in white. It's a great fragrance for the cooler months, deep, dark, spicy, and full of incense. That's Sadigan Voltaire, this is him. I'm Peter from Scent Trail. I hope you enjoyed this list. If you haven't subscribed yet, please, you can do so now. Thank you very much. Don't forget to hit that bell button and like, love, share, all those wonderful things that make this channel grow. Until the next time, I want you to take good care of yourself. Remember, always smell nice. And I'll talk to you soon. Until then, Scent Trail, 